Hey everyone, welcome back to Shade Review. In today's video, we are reviewing the Ray-Ban RB4398 Eric sunglasses. But first off, link today's video sponsor, our own website, shadereviewstore.com, the absolute best place to buy designer sunglasses, just like these up to 80% off the original MSRP. Again, the website there is shadereviewstore.com. Check it out. So let's go ahead and pop these sunglasses on face and talk about the dimensions. These have 53 millimeter lenses and a 20 millimeter bridge, but Ray-Ban also does sell these in a smaller lens size with 50 millimeter lenses in the exact same 20 millimeter bridge. Personally, I do prefer the larger lens size because I kind of like the slightly oversized styling of these frames when it comes to this pair. But I also actually do like the smaller lens size on my face as well. But I think for the average person, you're going to want to stick to these 53 millimeter lens size. Now, as far as style goes, these kind of look like a more squared off Ray-Ban Orion. And I do like the styling of these frames. They do look pretty sharp, pretty nice. And they do have metal accents here in the top corners of the frames and then the raised Ray-Ban logo, just like you'd find on an original pair of Ray-Ban Wayfair frames. And of course, we also can see a little painted on Ray-Ban logo here in the top right corner of the lens and then a little etched RB logo here in the middle left of the lens. Uh, of course, they're for authentication purposes. Now, as far as lenses go, these are Ray-Ban's all glass lenses. So the optical clarity of these is going to be very, very good. These are a G15 base. You're gonna get a nice neutral uh, viewing experience and their all glass lenses are going to have very good scratch resistance, much better than something like a pair of Oakley Prism lenses. And of course, the lenses here are going to block 100% of UVA and UV rays, which is extremely important for your eye health. Just overall, really good lenses uh, from Ray-Ban uh, here with with these frames. Now the Ray-Ban Eric frames also have very nice and premium seven barrel all metal hinges, which feel really good when opening open them up and when closing them. These feel very substantial and nice and very, very strong and solid. Now if we take a look at the inner right temple of the frames, they say Ray-Ban T made in China because these frames are made in China instead of Italy. And then if we take a look at the inner left temple of the frames, we can see it says RB4398 Eric with all the model information on there. Now these frames are made out of a propionate instead of an acetate, uh, so the actual build quality of the frames is significantly worse than an acetate material. Uh, so they're going to squeak just a little bit, it's hard to tell, but they squeak just a little bit when opening up the frames and when closing them. Uh, nothing too crazy, but definitely do have a little bit of squeaking there and they do offer a lot more flexibility, propionate does, uh, versus acetate. So they're definitely better for like more sports sunglasses than they are kind of like a classy pair of sunglasses. And with propionate, it's actually an injected material. So they actually inject it into a mold. And because of that, you can actually see and actually feel a harsh line here on the metal temple where they actually injected the material and closed them together with a metal rod that runs down the temple of the frames. And we can also see and feel that line here on the top as well. And that just makes the frames feel really cheap. It just makes them feel kind of like dollar store sunglasses. And this is a common occurrence with a lot of uh, Ray-Ban made in China frames. They're just making them significantly cheaper. The build quality here really is not good. I mean, you should not be able to feel those harsh lines from the propionate on these frames. It's absolutely ridiculous. Now the original Ray-Ban Wayfair, on the other hand, are actually handmade and they're made out of an acetate material. Uh, and it's so, so much better. You're not going to have these seams. It's made out of one single sheet of acetate. Uh, at least the fronts are, and then the temples are made out of its own sheet as well. And they're just going to get a far superior product with a pair of original Ray-Ban Wayfarers versus these frames. And what's crazy is these frames are still $182. I believe that's the exact same price as the original Ray-Ban Wayfarer, but the build quality of these is significantly, significantly worse. I, I really can't emphasize that enough that these are really made very poorly and the original Ray-Ban Wayfarer are made very, very well. And uh, it kind of comes down to the actual uh, materials. And then also, again, the fact that these are made in China and the other ones are handmade in Italy. You're getting a superior product with the original Ray-Ban Wayfarers. I mean, this is really just unacceptable. Being able to feel this line here on the top of the frame, it, it feels terrible. And then the propionate here just feels cheaper as well uh, with the more flex that it has. It just feels more like a sport eyewear, cheap pair of frames. And uh, I really, really do not like these. Now, as far as coverage from the sun goes, here up top, we can see there's a pretty big gap that lets sunlight in unprotected. And then here on the side, again, there is a pretty big gap that definitely does let sunlight in unprotected. So overall, these are not the most practical pair of sunglasses. So what do I think about these? 
these frames. I think they look really good on face. I do like the look. I do like the lens and material as well. And I do like the durability of the propionate frames versus acetate. Again, they're going to have much more flex and they should be a little bit tougher to scratching uh, than that acetate would be. But overall, these frames are significantly cheaper made and worse than a pair of original Ray-Ban Wayfarers. And considering the fact that these are the exact same price as the original Ray-Ban Wayfarers, it is absolutely ridiculous uh, that anybody would buy this pair of frames over the original Ray-Ban Wayfarers, unless of course you like the styling of these. A lot of people don't like the look of the original Ray-Ban Wayfarers. They don't look good on face and these offer a really nice and fresh look. So I get why you'd wanna get these frames as far as the styling goes, but as far as you know quality goes, I mean, you're talking completely different levels as far as, 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 as far as build quality goes and materials as well. So definitely, I do not recommend these if you also like the look of the original Ray-Ban Wayfair. But if you have a big sunglass collection like I do and you wanna add a really uh, cool and new fun frame to the mix, you know, it, it's definitely not a bad pair of frames. They still, you know, function really good and they still do have the glass lenses. So they are, you know, decent. Uh, but that's all I got for this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to give me a big thumbs up down below. And of course, make sure to hit that subscribe button and then you'll be notified every single time I upload a brand new video, just like this one to our YouTube channel. Again, thank you all so much for watching and I'll catch you all in the next one.